Just how safe are we from the next attack on the United States? This could come from anywhere. It could be a physical attack or it could be a cyber attack. That is what is happening now. More and more places are experiencing cyber attack. This will affect millions of Americans. On December 2nd, a small Western Pennsylvania water authority was just one of multiple organizations breached in the United States by Iran affiliated hackers who targeted a specific industrial control device. The victims span multiple U.S. states, the FBI and Environmental Protection Agency, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, known as CISA. They did not say how many organizations were attacked or otherwise described them. Um, it was noted that they discovered this hack on November 25th. That federal officials had told him the same group also breached four other utilities and an aquarium. Cybersecurity experts say that while there is no evidence of Iranian involvement in the October 7th attack into Israel by Hamas that triggered the war in Gaza, they expected state-backed Iranian hackers. The advisory says the hackers who call themselves Cyber Avengers are affiliated with Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corp, which the U.S. designated as a foreign terrorist organization back in 2019. The the U.S. is alarmed. Why are they alarmed? The U.S. alarmed as China hacks critical systems in the United States. China has made its way to critical American cyber infrastructure without being detected for over a year. The known targets include the water utility in Hawaii, a port on the U.S. West Coast, and an oil and gas pipeline. This is serious. The goal is for China to leverage a position over the United States to create chaos, cause panic, and disrupt logistics. Hackers tied to China's People's Liberation Army have gained access to more than two dozen critical systems, according to Washington Post. The newly revealed information provides a more complete understanding of the Volt typhoon cyber campaign that is taking place right now identified by the u.s government around a year ago you may remember how a small ransomware attack on the colonial pipeline sharply ran up fuel prices and caused lines of cars to wait hours to refill at gas stations up and down the eastern seaboard it was the moment that americans got the first glimpse of the effect of a cyber attack and made it central issue for the Department of Homeland Security. Well, China has stepped up their game and they're doing big things. The director of DHS Cybersecurity Infrastructure Security Agency is reported as saying this is a significant change from Chinese cyber activity from seven to 10 years ago, which was primarily on political and economic espionage. In many parts of the US, Core utilities are managed by private industry. Each company operates different than the other. Some are more resilient than others, and many remain vulnerable and stealthy for these stealthy attacks, meaning they don't have their systems up to date. One attempt to break into a power grid privately operated in Texas is now being known. The several electric utilities outside the U.S. have been compromised. Why did they choose Hawaii? Taiwan is home to the Pacific Fleet, China's ability to disrupt the U.S. military response to a potential conflict that would require deploying troops and equipment could weaken America's timely activation for this critical movement. Often it comes down to the use of readily available malware and a lapse in security through human deception. Chinese hackers were able to blend in with common network traffic to evade detection in a technique security experts called living off the land. They can do things that we can do is always updating our passwords, not having the same passwords for multiple um, outlets that we use. Uh, keep all software, including antivirus and operating systems up to date with the latest security patches. Um, be cautious about the amount of personal information shared online 
as this can be used to facilitate targeted attacks. Do not open emails that you don't know where they came from. Um, China is doing the most. They are a serious threat to the national security and economic stability of the United States. By targeting critical infrastructure systems such as water, power, and oil, China aims to gain strategic advantage over the U.S. and potentially disrupt its military response in the event of a conflict over Taiwan. This is not going to end anytime soon. And we need to be mindful of what is happening. Let's share out this information to others so they can stay alert um, to what they need to do to protect themselves. Uh, we have a weakened infrastructure system as is. Our water needs work, especially small towns. Our power grid is, it just needs to be redone altogether. And while we could be funding those things and getting those things up to par, we are sending funds. Let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on Tommy Bates TV and Homestead. Never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool Yeah.